Hello everybody, this is Howard of adtransfers.co.uk saying good day. It's a lovely day here in Britain. Very rare. Um, a, a good, clean, sunny day in England is as rare as an honest politician. Right? In Britain anyway. So, let's have a look. I have got something very interesting um, from Ukraine. This is, um, I guess, the Ukraine stamps, right? Just zoom out a bit. Maybe I'll get that a bit better. Wow. This is from Kiev. Wow. Amazing. Ukraine's National Post. What is it? Oh, what do you think it is? You want to guess? You want to guess? It's small, it's light, it only costs a couple of bucks, nothing major. Let's have a look and see. Okay. So, I've opened the side. It was very well sealed. Let's see. Ooh. Let's, uh, let's open that up. Ooh, what is that? Let's have a look and see here. Ooh. This looks interesting. A Soviet military dosimeter. Now, you may say, why would I want to get something like this? Because I was thinking that a lot of uh, Valve televisions do have some valves that are actually radioactive. If they're damaged, they can expose you to radiation. I'm sure it's minimal and harmless, but nevertheless, I thought, let me get one of these. So military dosimeter. It's designed for specialists, as well as employees of nuclear power plants and other facilities. Wow. Measure gamma radiation. It can help you check the radiation safety of your home, etc., etc. How to use it. Take a dosimeter ID and look through the dosimeter as if through a telescope to a very bright light source. If you look up at the sun, you will see a image inside the dosimeter. Depending on the radiation dose, the thread will move. Wow! So this is actually what appears to be... It doesn't have any buttons or anything. Learn, sorry, learn before all instructions. Okay, so read instructions. Don't let water get in. Do not let fall down. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, well, let me see. Uh, can we see through this? Let me try. Uh, I can see something. Huh. Um, let's try that. Hang on. I'm trying to get it over the camera, you see. See if I can get this in there. Okay, so if you look at that now, you can actually see very clearly what I'm looking at here. So, there we go. So, it looks like wherever I'm pointing this has got no radiation. Well, that's good. If I point it up at the sun, oh, it's bright, blindingly bright now. Can't really see it. There we go. I'm not getting anything on that either. Very interesting. So, yeah. Um, so, interestingly, this little device is, a, I guess, a passive setup of some kind. Um, useful, I suppose, if... Uh, I'm so, so embarrassed I've gone fat. This, <laughs> this little device is uh, quite interesting. Um, it's got a serial number on it as well. And hopefully you'll never need to use one of these, but wow, isn't that a cool thing to have? It's really well made. It's proper metal and everything. And you can basically point it wherever you like. Pretend you're a pirate, I guess. And check out if there's any radiation. And I'll let you know if I find any. But uh, with that, it's Howard with a quick show and tell of a radiation testing goodie gad. Bye for now.